soup season isn't over yet, let's go ahead and make us an end of winter vegetable soup. Hey guys, welcome back to another cooking video. This video is about a soup that you can make for whatever you have in your fridge. So, everything you see here was just either about to expire, about to go bad, or we had to excess. And I know by the end of winter, everyone has probably some food that needs to go, or even by the end of the week. So I'm first going to start with uh, cooking off the meat. Now this is just ground beef and um, I'm just gonna like let it literally sit there for a little bit before I start chomping on it, mash up your meat, let's go. Um, and of course, I'm just breaking it down so it becomes little ground beef. All right, and so now I'm just literally cutting up all the vegetables that I have um, in smaller pieces so it's about faster to cook down and also if it's in the blender that we're going to use later. And so literally it doesn't matter how big or small or like the type of cut. Just cut it so that it's enough a smaller size to fit into your pot and to um, be able to blend. And of course the vegetable, I know normally when you're cooking vegetables you kind of have to cook the hardest thing first but because we're making a soup I was just like you know what just chuck at it <laughs> not to worry about it um, so it doesn't matter in the order of vegetables that you choose whatever you end up having so now we're seasoning our meat and um, I this first I just put like salt pepper just to kind of get a base flavor out of it um, because the soup will be very flavorful and you don't want uh, any particular thing to be over salted or under salted so now I'm going ahead and cutting up the zucchini. I added the zucchini last because the zucchini does um, hold water. So that's why it's kind of at the top. And so that by the time the water hits it, it will uh, slowly cook down um, versus immediately. <laughs> but yeah, these zucchinis were going bad. And so I had to get rid of them. And so that was the basis kind of of our soup that I had the most of. And then I just added the rest of the foundational vegetables under, up under. And now let's go ahead and head over to the sink. We're going to add our liquid. Um, and you can also add a good vegetable stock is good, but because I'm adding brown beef, also a good beef stock is a good base for it. But if you don't have any of those, a pair, if you don't have any of those at the house, water is just fine because then you get to add your own uh, flavorings and seasonings. Um, so once you've added your water and you can go ahead and bring your uh, soup to a, a slight boil. Um, and then of course add your thyme, your rosemary, any of your aromatics to make give the soup an extra umph. Um, and just like let it boil, just let it sit there. You can do other things. Uh, as you guys can see, like it's like over the top, but don't worry, everything will be cooked. So I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like my soups with some meat in them in a sense of not just actual physical meat, but also like other things, dumplings, potatoes, mushrooms, like different things to just kind of give that soup um, a really nice full flavor in your mouth, you know, and um, being here in Austria or Europe, I guess, like they like their soups watery or I mean, <laughs> Not, I'm not, there's flavor, there's a lot of flavor, but it's just so liquid. And I'm just like, I'm not about that life. I love me a good thick soup. And if it ain't thick, at least add some like dumplings or meat or something so that, you know, I'm not just feeling like I'm drinking hot beef water. But anyways, you get it. So <laughs> at this point, maybe you wanna check your vegetables. And um, once they're all checked, you can put them in the blender. Um, also, please be careful because the soup is hot and so I would put a little bit at a time just because the heating and the blending, that's, I don't think that's the best combo. It might like splurt on you or something. So yeah, just be mindful about of the blending hot food. Okay, warranty. 
And then we're just gonna bum 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 in other game. The name of the game. So what you're looking for here is a very smooth consistency. Like you don't want, um, well at, actually at this point you can blend it how you want to. Like but I blended it out really really for a long time so that's really smooth because I don't want to, I'm not passing or straining this soup. I'm eating it in its full abundance. So um, yeah make sure it's like really blended down or mixed down. Um, and so I add a bit more water because I just thought it was just too thick still for me. Um, and so as much as I like thick soups, it has to be a balance of thickness, you know? So, um, of course, tasting it on my uh, forearm, forehand, <laughs> I think it needed more seasoning, obviously. Um, salt, I like salt, <laughs> so... All right, guys, so now we're all done. After you've blended it, you've seasoned it, uh, and now let's go ahead and add our uh, meat. So we're gonna add first the potatoes, which I cooked separately so that I can have a nice bite to it. And then after that, um, I added the meat over top, and then I poured the soup over. And I think, guys, this is amazing, okay? Like, you get your vegetable intake in, and it's delicious looks good tastes good good for you this is where it's at so stay tuned for more content about food <laughs> of course i finished it with some olive oil and some cracked pepper but and chives but stay tuned for more content thanks for watching i really appreciate it you guys um until next time holla at your girl dining with death good appetites. appetite <laughs>